So you will need some dead dried things. Um, as you can see, I obviously have some butterfly wings here. Um, I just want to put a quick little disclaimer that all of the insect parts, the wings, I found naturally. Um, they were already dead. Of course, I would never harm a butterfly just for art. Like, the thought of that makes me sick. And if please don't do that <laughs> if you want to. If you want to do that tutorial, this tutorial, um, please do not harm any insects. Um, plants, you know, is a little different because they are. Uh, they don't, you know, I don't know, I don't really want to go into that, but but obviously you will need some dead things. Um, a lot of these I just gathered around my town, or my friend knows I was collecting stuff, so she'll find cool stuff and bring them to me. Um, the rose petals, I don't know if those are exactly roses, but I'll save them and I'll hang them to dry them. Um, and it kind of looks cute in your house anyway, so you could do something like that. Um, and you could look up what flowers are good for drying, or you can just experiment. Also, there's a lot of different types of leaves that are really cool to um, to play with too. So there's a lot of different options here. So kind of just look around um, and do be patient with the drying process because you don't want anything to mold. Okay, so you will need a laminator and sorry for the gross band-aid on my hand. I know it's not cute. Um, but you will need a laminator. This one I just got at like my local grocery store. Um, I think it was only like 20 bucks. You can get a cheap one. You don't need a high-end one. Um, they're really affordable and you can use it for a lot of different things besides just making bookmarks. So. Okay, so this brings me to the next material. You will need some laminating pouches. Um, you can get these really cheap off Amazon. I'll try to leave a link down below. Um, they come with a hundred and I'll put the price somewhere because I can't remember off the top of my head. And then these ones just came with the printer I got, or I had to buy them separately, but they were like in the same aisle. And these are five by seven. Um, there's four by six as well. Um, the bookmarks I'm going to be making today are two by seven. So the five by sevens will work. And with these ones, with both of them, I will just have to cut them to the two by seven size. Um, this next tool might be not necessary um, for me to put in here because I believe most of you should have this, but you'll need some basic tools like a ruler and a pair of scissors. And I will probably be using a paper cutter as well, but if you don't have that, you can just use a pair of scissors. Another ingredient you might want to consider is some kind of glue. This just helps to stabilize all of your pieces before you put it in the laminator. Um, if you don't use something like glue, it um, when it goes through the laminator, the pieces will kind of move and not stay how you originally wanted them. So something like a super glue would work. And this is kind of silly, but you will need some creativity. Um, I don't know if glittery stars represent creativity, but there is a comp compositional curve to it, um, just meaning what looks good with what and what colors. Um, maybe I could do a whole other video on that, but just color theory in general. Um, you can look up complementary colors, which just means colors that will look good together. So for example, it's red and green orange and blue and yellow and purple and I'll try to put that on screen somewhere so those colors will make those colors pop um, and then there's things like size difference and I'll get into that a little bit when I'm creating a few Okay, so it's voice over me and I am just cutting the lamination sheets to the 2x7 size. I am also taking off the rounded corners because I am not going for that look. Um, and then I'm just going to tape down the sides. This is so that the sheet of plastic won't move around on me. And you're going to bring your dead things in. And you're going to place them, like I said, in a way that is compositionally appealing um, so really don't aim for symmetry just aim for a really natural um, interesting pattern um, 
big things next to big things, small things next to small things, but also a nice variety. Um, so, like I said, kind of in a random order. And I also include a tip that um, you'll want to try to only include items that are really flat. Otherwise, you'll get this weird bubbling effect. So, for example, the white flowers, those bigger ones that you see, kind of created this weird effect when I laminated it and it just didn't look as good. So, definitely try to use flatter objects. Then you're going to just take some super glue and place it on like a, a plastic cap or something. And slowly, one by one, dip it into the super glue and place it um, at the desired location. And this is very tedious, but it's really worth it at the end when you put it through the laminator and everything stays in the spot you want it to. And then I just mentioned the blowing test. It's as simple as just blowing on the bookmark and making sure nothing moves. If something does move, just reapply it again, reapply the glue. Um, you can flatten it with a heavy book. Um, that's kind of what I did off camera. And always insert it with the pre-laminated edge first. And this tip's super important, but always insert it with a piece of paper behind it. Here I did not, and I did not in the next one. And you can tell, um, especially with the second one, because it doesn't even exist because it got jammed in the paper, um, which is unfortunate, but I was able to salvage the butterfly wing. Um, so just make sure you're inserting with a piece of paper so that it doesn't jam your laminator and burn up and ruin it like it got, almost did with mine. And these ones definitely turned out a lot better as I went. I learned some tips and tricks, like inserting it with a piece of paper. But yeah, the, the, the bookmarks I did towards the end are much better than the ones I did at the first. The first ones were kind of like the guinea pigs. Okay, so today I made four different bookmarks. I actually made a, another one as well, but um, it clogged the laminator and got a little messed up, so I made another one. Um, I'll put some tips in the beginning from what I learned while doing these um, so that you guys can avoid any mistakes. Um, overall, I am pretty happy with all of them. Um, the ones with the smaller flowers didn't really work as well, but I will, like I said, include in the beginning that those sometimes cause a problem. But yeah, let me know what you think of this tutorial. I will probably have these um, listed on my Etsy for a few bucks or definitely try making your own. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts. Bye guys.